sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. Since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered, in his zeal he reduced them to straits. But by the Lord's word he shut up the heavens, and three times he brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds! Whose glory is equal to yours? You brought a dead man back to life from the netherworld by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats at Sinai, at Horeb, avenging judgments. You anointed kings who would inflict vengeance, and a prophet as your successor. You would, were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of their fathers towards their sons, to reestablish the tribes of Jacob, Blessed is he who shall have seen you, and who falls asleep in your friendship. For we live only in our life, but after death our name will be not such. O Elijah, enveloped in a whirlwind. Then Elisha, filled with a twofold portion of his spirit, brought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime, he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath him, flesh was brought back into life. In life, he performed wonders. After death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. 
The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Cloud and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes round about. Lightnings illumine the world. The earth sees and trembles. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in things of naught. All gods are prostrate before you. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. sons and daughters, we cry out, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your other Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So we've got going through the Sermon on the Mountain and uh, going through the Beatitudes and then all other things like turn the other cheek and you know, forgive your brother and those kind of things, and now we're, what about prayer? And last, yesterday was uh, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, and we go back to prayer, and uh, you know, we got the, the Our Father. And uh, the beginning says, Do not babble like the pagans. They think they will be heard because there are many words. Do not be like them. And uh, we heard in, uh, about in 2 Kings from in Elijah uh, earlier about where Elijah was with the other prophets from Baal, and uh, they were trying to invoke their God, and were showing all the things that they did, you know, going on forever and ever, and chanting the name of the, their God, and, and uh, saying, please hear us, please hear us, can't you hear us, and all that kind of stuff, and eventually they get themselves in a frenzy, and eventually they <laughs> were even gashing themselves, and uh, that's how the pagans did it in that, the day, uh, it's a far cry of what we would do today. There's all kinds of accusations about different kinds of prayers. For example, the rosary. You know, you're babbling on like the praying pagans. Well, <laughs> it doesn't sound like that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, and yet, as far as the rosary goes, as far as, you know, when I pray anyways, my focus is on God, right? When we're saying the words of Scripture, you know, uh, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Uh, blessed are you from women, and those are both from Luke, you know, of course, from the Annunciation and the Visitation. 
but the focus still is on God, right? And on Jesus, is on the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. And um, that helps us get into a rhythm of prayer and to seek union with God. So then it goes on to all of the things, to praise God for who he is. You know, so many times, just, Lord, give me this, give me that. No, how about, God, you are great. You know, how would be your name? You are holy. And then to ask our requests and ask for forgiveness. And then, as he says at the end, forgive others. And so uh, we continue to do that. So we, our prayers have to be connected with our actions and lives. So we pray today that the, our Father would have a new meaning for us today. And that as we continue in this Eucharist, we be closer to the Father and in the Holy Eucharist receive Jesus in proper <clears throat> disposition. Please stand. For the Catholic Church throughout the world that have continued to guide us in bringing his word to life, we pray, hear us, O Lord. The leaders of nations, God, guide them in the many difficult decisions, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. For all who are poor, hungry, or thirsty, may God show compassion upon their suffering, enliven the community to meet their needs, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. For those gathered here today, either online or present, may God give us courage in leading lives of faithfulness in word and deed, and also strengthen our life of prayer. We pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, the Lord. Lord. Those who have died, we remember today Andy Coletti, and also members of this community who have died, our loved ones, our family members. May God grant them mercy, everlasting peace through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, the Lord. Lord. Any petitions you'd like to voice at this time? We pray to the Lord. Hear yes. us, O Lord. Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hear, hear these prayers we offer today through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>
It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. So the company and choirs of angels, we praise you with that with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall. They become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, in need of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, O Savior of the Lord, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we are gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember, Angie, your servant, you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in the death, like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence we pray, our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, always we may be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. It's my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You can live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord My Jesus, I believe you're most present in this holy sacrament. I love you above all things, desire to receive you into my soul. Since I can't receive you at this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you're already here. I unite myself to your will, wholly, completely. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. At this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, it foreshadows the union of the faithful to you. May it bring us uh, unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So uh, tomorrow's the Feast of the Sacred Heart, a big feast and feast day in the church, and looking forward to that. And um, I guess that's that. <laughs> and today's going to be a glorious day, isn't it? Yeah! The Lord be with you. God's blessing upon you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I know there was one more thing. Today is the day to pray for deacons in the Diocese of Erie. This is their Emmaus day. They're going to meet, you know, have a talk, special talk and have the uh, online and, and uh, meet with the bishop as well online. And um, just so to pray for the deacons of the Diocese of Erie. Go in peace to glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Amen.